Hey creative friends, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making some gifts and the one that I want to show you today is a sugar scrub. And I really love these because they are just amazing on your skin. They're so nice and they're such a quick and easy gift. And you can do them at home because you know we don't want to have to go outside a lot right now. So this is a great thing you can do at home. Um, it's super simple ingredients. It's simply sugar and then coconut oil. And I like to use this one. Now this is, I like the unrefined coconut oil because it still has a little bit of the coconut smell to it. And I think that that's really nice in these sugar scrubs. But if you get the unrefined, it's just a little bit harder and it um, doesn't have that coconut smell. This is from Costco. It's the Kirkland brand, super affordable. And I love this one. So I've got some coconut oil. I actually have a half a cup of that. And I have it's a half a cup of sugar, but it's divided into quarter cup, a quarter cup of sugar and another quarter cup of sugar. And then I've got some food coloring and I'll show you why the sugar's divided and I have food coloring. And I also have some peppermint essential oils. I'm going to make this peppermint and I am going to change the color of this sugar to like a pink with this red food coloring that will give it that peppermint look. Um, if you wanted to do this in the summertime though, you could use orange and maybe add an orange essential oil or you could do like lemon and do yellow sugar. You could even do green and do spearmint. Um, another thing is just a darker green and use kind of a pine scent if you've got some essential oils like that. So you can do so much with this and it's an all year kind of gift. So first I'm gonna start with the sugar. I'm gonna take this little quarter cup of sugar and I'm going to add two drops of red. Oops, that one didn't have any red, but good enough. I've got another package. I have a lot of these. Okay, here's my food coloring. There's my there's my red. Whew. Okay, so I'm going to order. I'm going to take a couple of drops of red food coloring. I'm going to put it in the sugar. That's good enough. And now I'm going to mix it around a little bit and let it color the sugar. You can see how that's going to color. You can use your fingers if you want to mix it together. The nice thing about this is that it's going to make kind of like little pieces of red in the whip, which gives it that real pepperminty look. I like that. This is really cool when it's in orange in the summertime. How nice. And if you've ever used a coconut oil sugar scrub when you know on your skin, like when you're washing your hands or in the shower, oh my gosh, it's so nice. Okay, so there you go. That's how quick and easy that is. Okay, this is the quickest, easiest little gift. All right, so that's nicely mixed up. You see that? It's kind of a, a real pretty pink color, you see? Now, I don't know how that looks on, on the camera, but you can see it compared to the white. There you go. All right, so now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take this coconut oil. I don't wanna spill my sugar. And I'm gonna put it in the bowl now you could use your big uh, counter mixer if you want. I've got my KitchenAid, but I just like my little hand mixer. And then I'm gonna start whipping that. So I'm gonna start whipping it and then I'm gonna slowly um, add in the sugar and let that whip. Make sure you guys can see that. So I'm gonna start whipping. I'm gonna get all the way up to the whip cycle. And now I'm gonna add the sugar. I'm going to take my little, my little spatula, I want to make sure you guys can see it, scrape it all off the sides, it's nice and creamy texture. Now it's pretty much whipped, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in that pink sugar. And then once that's added in, we'll add in, oh, four or five drops of the peppermint. So here we go. Okay, let me scrape 
scrape it off the sides. Make sure all that sugar is mixed in. Love it. I love my old hand mixer. This is such an oldie. I mean, you can tell by the color of it. Gosh, it's from like the 70s. All right. So there's that. And now, now there it is. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take about four or five drops of peppermint oil and I'm going to mix that in. One, two, three, four, five. The one for good measure. I love the smell of the peppermint. And actually, you know, the spearmint is really good. Oh my gosh, it smells wonderful. And there you are. Got this cute little square jar. It may not be enough to fill this, but if it's not, see how quick and easy that was? I can make a whole nother batch. This will actually fill more of a half pint, but... There we are. I'm just going to make some more. That wasn't that hard. And actually, I love it when, um, so that's about a half a pint. So I'll make another one, and then I'm going to decorate the jar, and I'll come back and show you how I did that. Okay, here you are. That double batch makes a, um, a pint. So this is great. I probably won't have it left this way. This is just an idea to show you to decorate the jar. I'm gonna, I just don't have any ribbon, but I'm going to get some ribbon, some red ribbon, and maybe a couple little pieces of holly and put on there and just decorate the jar super cute. I do want to remind you to put a spoon on there, especially if you're going to use the pint jar because you don't want someone's fingers going down in there. This way they can use this as a little scoop and scoop it out. Um, so anyway, I might make some orange and lemon in the summer. I just think that would be awesome. So I'm going to try that too. But you guys, give this a try. Have fun with it. People love it. So if you make it, let me know. I'd love to hear about it. And hey, thanks you guys for um, subscribing and liking and watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one.